Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand spanking new episode of WTF. Who are we starting off with is the question. Ken Chrysler here. Um, uh, we're back to Mock and Ribby and it's EC3, this outcast, we're starting off with. Oh my goodness. This guy was fired ages ago off of this brand. I think it was his attendance problem. He had an attendance problem or he, he was, he's taking, I think if... I don't know. I don't recall which one was which, but a couple people have been fired from this brand for stupid reasons and well-deserved reasons. I mean, if you get fired on here, you are you did something really bad. But, oh my goodness. Now he's mocking Ribby. We, we talked about, you know, be a star, quit the bullying, and here we go again. What in the world is this? And we are about to hear from EC3 tonight. Did not expect him to be here. But you never know what you're going to get on this brand. Oh, no, not this part. This is the worst part. Yeah, wave at the crowd. Yeah. Oh, nice backflip. Yeah. You're so excited. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is EC3. And I'm in the 1%. Go ahead and tell Bernie. See if I care. <laughs> it's great to be here again. After I was dismissed from WTF a little while back. By the worst manager ever. Let me just say that WTF management is the worst. And I just want you all to know that ever since I've left this crap company. I am doing good. That is right. I am doing good, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't need any of you all. It's not only this crap management. It's also all you crappy superstars in the back. You don't got what it takes. I do. And I don't miss any of you all. Whether it be Pizza Party, Pixar Party, Money Heist, the, the horrible management... Or all the other goofballs wearing their goofy hats. Or even Ribby. I am better than all of you all. Ever since I've left this crap company and this crap brand. See, ladies and gentlemen, I have done some investing. And I have a new occupation. I don't rely on wrestling anymore. To feed my family. Because wrestling is for nerds. Like all of you all. What I rely on now. Is real estate. That's right ladies and gentlemen. And tonight. We are going to be showing. The first house that will be put on the market. And it's a cheap house. So all you people at WCF. You can afford that right. But. I just want to go ahead and show off the property. And see if any of you all would like to purchase this house. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the property that I'm selling. IEC3. As you can see, it's a nice house. It does need some work. It's a fixer-upper for sure. You got a couple containers out there. The window doesn't have... A, yeah, there's a big hole in the ceiling. But that's okay. You can fix that up. It's going to be very cheap. You guys could should be able to afford it. You got a cabinet there. As you can see, a nice room there. Commode needs a little bit clean. Makarov's been, you know, uh, dirtying that up. And, of course, he also dirtied the shower up as well. But our former owner was very careless and reckless. And you could flip this house easy. It would be an easy flip. There is a hole in the floor. But that's okay. That's okay. Because you can always... Look, you get, you get free books. You get free books with this property if you buy it today. And I'm selling it for 30 grand. A free table and chairs, as you can see. A nice refrigerator. That is the best refrigerator you're going to see um, around here. As you can see, there's a, a, a nice yard, a truck. You get a free truck. I don't know if it works, though. But it, it's a nice house overall. I'm going to sell it for 30 grand if anyone is interested. There is a big hole in the top, but, you know, you can fix that. And uh, look here. These Chester doors. They're They're excellent. Fine, brand new condition. And a bicycle. You get a free bicycle as well and some more books. So you can read some more. So yeah, there, there you go. That's the property, 30 grand. Are you kidding me? 
Really? Nobody's going to buy that trash. And uh-oh, someone's ticked. Uh-oh, who is it? Somebody is ticked off. Uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> Christopher's here! He's had enough of this. I don't blame him. This guy is taking over the show. And yeah, it's, it's about time we get some form of management in here. And Christopher is here to hurt somebody. <laughs> And no politics, it doesn't matter. He was talking real estate tonight. No real estate tonight. <laughs> He's trying to sell a Call of Duty house for 30 grand. Where Makarov used to live in. Yeah, we want a, a house where Makarov, you know, took a dump in. <laughs> yeah, like we want that. Yeah, but anyway, Christopher's here to shut EC3 up. Please, shut him up. He has no business. This is technically trespassing. He is trespassing right now. And he has no business doing what he's doing. And Christopher's had enough. He is ticked off, man. Yeah. That's what you get, EC3. Yeah. That's what you get. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to our next segment. Sadler is here. But who is he meeting up with? It's Vince McMahon. Can this get any crazier tonight? First of all, uh, first we have Call of Duty Open House. And then... <laughs> now Vince is here. What is going on? And of course, Vince wants revenge on Brandon. I hate that walk, man. That walk is such a jerk walk. <laughs> <laughs> and look at Vince making his way up the steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're, EC3's already got it tonight. So we'll see what else happens. I mean, we got a full show, and we haven't even gotten started yet. Hi, Sandler. My name is Vince McMahon, and I'm the greatest wrestling promoter ever, despite what Pizza Party says about me. Now... I need to talk to you because I heard you have beef with Pizza Party and I am willing to do whatever it takes to get revenge on Pizza Party after what happened to me two weeks ago. So tell me, what is your plan, Sadler? Here recently I have been trying to get Leon Kennedy, but I have failed at getting Leon Kennedy. And I got stressed out, so I ordered a pizza. And it was supposed to be delivered, but apparently Pizza Party stole my pizza before I could get it. And now I'm very angry. Vince McMahon, I have what you need in order to defeat Pizza Party. You and Shane must tag together to destroy them once and for all. But in order to defeat them, you need one thing and one thing only. More balls. Wait a second. What do you mean, more balls? What's that supposed to mean? I was told that you were the man to go to if I needed help defeating Pizza Party. And you're telling me I need more balls? I know it sounds weird, but you and Shane need more balls. And I have just the weapon to do it. And tonight, Pizza Party will feel my wrath for the lost pizza. And also, they will feel your wrath as well. They will get the best fight they've ever gotten. You just wait and see. I know this all sounds weird, but it's not going to be weird. It's going to work. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what Sadler's telling Vince. I don't know what that means. But he's got a trick up his sleeve. And it's some kind of weapon or something. I don't know. But anyway, here's Pixar Party versus Money Heist. We got a, a this is a big match. One of the biggest matches of the week. Uh, this will also, this could determine a number one contendership for the tag titles as well. So we'll see who wins this tonight. It's three on three. As Money Heist was introduced last week, there's various members of Money Heist. We're talking six, seven people 
part of this stable. So uh, Joe Fixit has sent them to take on the Pixar party. He's still upset uh, over what occurred. Joe Fixit will not be here tonight, however. He has a toe infection. So if you guys didn't know, uh, there has been, you know, toe infections going around and spreading like wildfire. Uh, basically, your toe inflates. And you, it's hard to walk because your big toe gets like... I don't know, the size of a golf ball or something like that, or, or maybe a football. I don't know. I, I don't want to get it, you know, but it's been going around. So um, so Joe Fixit will not be here tonight. He has been uh, uh, placed on uh, uh, on leave tonight, so over his toe infection. But the Money Heist crew is clear to go, and they are going to take on Solly, Carl, and... Nemo here tonight. It's going to be a great match up here. And there's already a lot going down. EC3, if you, you missed it earlier, he was trying to sell a house. Failed miserably. Christopher didn't want to hear him. I don't think anyone wanted to hear him. I think if anyone agreed on one issue at all, as much as we don't agree with each other on here, is EC3 had to be shut up. And someone finally came down and shut him up. Okay, nobody wants Makarov's property. Okay? So, yeah. You don't want to share the... I don't want to share the same toilet Makarov shared. Okay? I don't want to bathe in the same tub Makarov bathed in. Okay? He doesn't even clean his stuff, as you can see. It's the biggest fixer-upper property I have ever witnessed in my life. So, yeah. And by the way, Makarov sounds like a, an evil version of Macaroni. That's what it sounds like. I just wanted to go ahead and say that. So, yeah, nobody wants, you know, that place is damaged. It's, it's you know, it, that, that ceiling's going to cave in any second. And he wants to do it for a fixer-upper. It's in a war zone. If you fix it up, it's gonna get a it's gonna get a uh, a, a, a missile through the wall the next day. Like what or, or a drone strike or something? Who wants to live in a, a war zone? But anyway, EC3 trying his best to sell property. He needs to go. You know, nobody cares. Nobody absolutely cares about. And he dissed everyone. Said he was better than everyone. Said he was richer than everyone. Nobody cares. Okay? Pay your taxes and be quiet. You know? I get so sick of these people. They just think they can walk on this show, say what they want, do what they want. You can't do whatever you want. You paid the price tonight. You didn't talk about politics, but you talked about real estate. And that's our second rule. You can't talk about real estate anymore. So... <laughs> But anyway, let's continue on with this match. It is a big match, six-man match. Pixar Party versus the Money Heist. And um, both both teams have more than just these three. Uh, there's big, st we're talking big stables. Uh, Five-man, six-man, seven-man stables. Uh, of course, Joe Fixit has brought this team together to take on the Pixar Party. Um, also tonight, guys, we will have a couple WWE superstars coming in. And we're also going to have a uh, um, pizza party. will be in action tonight. I don't know what Vince and Shane have up their sleeves. But Sadler, you know, said what he said. And we know that it's... It, 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 we don't know what it meant. But we're going to find out tonight. So, I, I don't know what he meant by that phrase. Uh, but, you know, he's got a trick up his sleeve, obviously. So. And also tonight, we are going to have... Um, so we're going to have a, a two wrestlers go uh, fight each other. We're going to have a tornado tag between Pizza Party and the McMahons. And our main event tonight will be DJ and the Rat Chef. That's what I like to call him, the Rat Chef. Um, versus... The Iron Taylor and Plum. So, uh, the Universal Champion will be in action here tonight. So, it is going to be a good one indeed. And 
And look at Money Heist. Look at the control that they have here, but there's a submission locked in. They could have maybe got a pin, but we'll see if they can get one here. Nemo breaks up the first one, and then Solly kicks out. So good, um, good timing there by the Pixar party. And they, you know, they got their hands full tonight. Just because they have, you know, especially with Solly being big, Money Heist has Helzinski. So he's a pretty big guy as well. So and look at Nemo here. And Carl trying to get a pin and kick out there. He's got Marcella and Palmera. And uh, these aren't even the main guys. These are some of the side guys with the exception of Helzinski. And look at Nemo here. Joe Fixit is sick of the Pixar party. He's went on record and say, said that. He thinks that they stole his glory. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out what glory that is. I really am. I'm just being honest. I'm not even taking sides. I mean, what did Joe Fixit ever do besides be a, a terrible version of a mafia hulk? You know? Like, what is going on there? He, the, the Hawk joined the Mafia. Is that what the backstory is? And look here. And uh, Money Heist almost got a pin. Look at Sully. And a break up there. So we have some incredible matches tonight, guys. It's going to be off the chain. It's already been off the chain. And uh, expect a lot tonight. And Marcella gets a pin on Pixar Party. So it is one to nothing. Money Heist takes the first fall here. Look at Nemo, though. And Carl's got Marcella occupied. And look here. Nemo gets a point. So it is now one to one. The next fall will win. And this has been a pretty interesting match, actually. So both teams giving it their all. It is one to one. And next fall will win right back to back, too. Very interesting there. We could see Solly versus Helzinski. That's what you want to see. I hope I'm saying these guys' names right. <laughs> They're kind of hard to pronounce. So. Look at Solly. Getting in the way. Solly with a body slam. This is a good opportunity to get a pin, but they're kicking the crap out of this member of Money Heist, as you can see. And look at Nemo. Oh, man. Did they take it here? And Sully, oh, man, shot to the back. Hits Marcella in the back of the head. And another big move by Nemo. Money Heist crew coming back in, man. And look here. Oh, man. Powerbomb on Nemo. And look at this. Carl breaks it up. Good break up there by Carl. Yeah, good, another good break up here. But look here. Oh, man. Carl. Look at that pin. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. And Helsinki gets a hold of Solly. And Money Heist wins. Unreal. Oh, man. What some good team effort there. As the Money Heist. And a big win for Joe Fixit tonight. Uh, I'm sure this rivalry is not over. Uh, but, yeah. What a pin. And Money Heist came to play. At their debut. They win. However, there will be, uh, according to management... Uh, there will be no die-hard coloring session. Uh, that is not going to happen uh, anytime soon. He has banned die-hard coloring sessions. So, and Joe Fixit's not here to celebrate tonight. He's, he has a toe infection. Like I said, this team is unreal. And, they, you know, they could be the number one, you know, contenders for the tag titles. And after that big win, we'll see what happens later on. But... They're probably going to be the most likely ones to go up against Pizza Party eventually. But ladies and gentlemen, what are we getting here? 
What in the world? It's Tomasa Ciampa. <laughs> and he's got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on here? Oh my goodness. We have officially went into big head mode. And Tomasa's Ciampa, someone, some call him Tomasa's Chamango. Uh, some call him Tomasa's Chamama. I don't know what you call him, but he knows how to dance. <laughs> oh, it's Tomas, it's Tomas's Fandango. That's what it is. He's moving like a Fandango up in here. I've never seen Tomas's. Uh, this dance for in my life and uh, who will he be facing is the question What in the world's going on here? What in the world? <laughs> it's Bobby Lashley <laughs> What in the world is going on here? <laughs> oh my god <sighs> What in the world is this? He's coming out with a Ric Flair uh, coat and a and a Chief hat. What in the world? Chief Flashley is here. Oh man! And everybody's getting down and dancing here tonight. Everybody's having a party. Chief Flashley has officially made it to the party, and uh, I don't know. This is just an exhibition match, but. Look at Chief Flashley. <laughs> I don't think he can wear that big hat in, in this one, though. But we'll see what happens. Neither can Tomasis. And well, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I, we've officially lost our minds. And <laughs> this has just gotten really weird. So apparently Bobby Lashley has antlers in a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Of course, Pizza Party will be in action next. As, uh... Who knows what, uh... Who knows what, uh... Shane and Vince are up to and Sadler with that weird reference he used earlier tonight. We don't know what he means by that, but it it's going to be a surprise, I'm sure. It's going to be interesting, though. And Tomas is there. And look at Lashley here. We got the zombie referee. Best referee ever. Best referee ever. And I'll tell you why. Doesn't need life insurance policy. Doesn't need to eat. Doesn't get exhausted. He's already dead. Don't have to worry about him getting hurt on the job. He's already dead. I mean, I mean, you talk about, it's all about, and Ozzy's good about this with his management, where he cuts cost. He's cutting cost by putting the zombie referee in, because he, he's very cheap. So... This is a two out of three falls. And look here. Oh, man. And here comes Lashley going for the pin. A kick out there. Look at Tomasis. 
Oh man, slams Lashley's head down. Tomas is getting the crowd going. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at these combinations. Nice drop kick at the end there. Look at this. What in the world's this? Oh man! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Poor Lashley just got kneed in the face by Tomasis. Kick out there by Lashley. What a matchup. Brutal match. Look here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And Lashley is trying to fight this. <laughs> and, oh man, oh man, a, a nice shot to the head there at the end. And Lashley's getting ticked. Going for a pin. I don't know if this will do it. What? That did it? Wow. That's one point for Lashley. Look here. <laughs> what is that? Uh, I've never seen Bobby Lashley do those kind of moves. <laughs> and the zombie ref has been knocked down, but don't worry, he'll get right back up because he's already dead. Tomas is with a big move there. The zombie ref gets hit again, but like I said, he he always gets right back up. Every time he falls, he gets right back up. And here comes Lashley going for the pin here. And a kick out there. Wow. I cannot believe this. Yeah, it's Lashley. He's got antlers. He's got a kilt. He's got robotic arms. He's got long sleeve socks. And apparently, Tomasa Ciampa, he is a dancer now. Look at, look. Oh, man, what a hit. Doing some chops on uh, Tomasis there, and look at that! Oh man! Oh, look at this. Lashley slams Tomasis here. Going for the pin. And that did it. Wow. And the old goofy Lashley wins. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That was very odd. And what do you expect? I mean, this is what WTF brings us. And I know some of the subs aren't going to be on this week. Tub infections getting worse. You know, you gotta be careful. But uh, we definitely needed to bring back some of the WWE guys. And who knows what's gonna happen next on here? I mean, this has been one of the craziest nights yet.
Lashley is victorious. Wait a second. It's him. Nikolai, are you all right? Can you walk? Yes, I can still fight. Thank you for getting me out of here. What in the world? What was that about Nikolai? Now, j just to just to go ahead and tell you guys the truth, that that incident, it, it, Nikolai was kidnapped two blocks away from where EC3 sell in that house. So, I mean, we're exposing the truth. There was a kidnapping two blocks away from where that new property is. It's crazy. It's a war zone out there. Don't buy that property, please. And Pizza Party is here, the tag team champions. And who knows what they're going to be up against tonight. Earlier, Sadler said that Vince needed more balls to win this match. I don't know what he means by that. But who knows what Sadler's up to here. And Vince definitely wants revenge. Him and Shane apparently need more. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But we're about to find out. What in the world? It's more CGI balls. Ah! More CGI balls. Okay. Yeah. Why was he not more, more spe uh, specific? about what he was talking about earlier, Sadler. Come on. So Vince and Shane are here. They got their they got their CGI shoots suits on. They're like mocap now. And we'll see if this can work out for them tonight. They want revenge on Brandon, of course, after what he did to Vince. And they're definitely acting funny. I've never seen Vince this joyful in my life. I mean, what is going on here? Did it take over their minds? What in the world? This is the weirdest episode I've ever watched. This this is ridiculous, is what it is. Okay? I don't know what I'm watching. The zombie ref's even back. <laughs> what is going on? And I guess... Um, uh, like Sadler said, they need more balls, and they got more balls on their suit now. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> this has just gotten interesting. They're definitely, oh man. And look there. I've never seen them. Oh man, they're starting out strong here. Against Pizza Party. And Sadler claimed that Pizza Party stole his pizza. Uh, um, and, uh, his pizza and he never got it delivered. So he's blamed him ever since. You know, that, that's something to hold a grudge over, you know. I thought he was his focus was on Leon Kennedy. And apparently it wasn't. Because now he's got more beef with people. And if you thought the Call of Duty property was bad, wait until you see the Resident Evil 4 property. Oh my goodness. EC3 and his realtor days. Oh man. I don't... I, he can try to go out there. I don't think he'll make it. You know. And look at Vince McMahon here. Oh man, kick to darkness. Brandon clothesline and Shane. Come <laughs> on. 
And look there, darkness. Trying, oh, an eye rake. Darkness going for a pin here. He's got a point. And look at Brandon throwing Shane. And look here, Boston Cramp. Brandon's distracted, but a kick out there. And Brandon breaks up the submission. Oh man, Brandon lays out Vince. Really good there. <laughs> they are one point away from winning this thing. Look at Brandon. Oh, what a nice slam. And look at Darkness going for the pin. Almost had it. Shane kicked out. And Brandon now going for the pin. And Shane breaks it up. And a DDT there by Shane. Shane going for the pin. But Brandon trying to get up. And a kick out there. And look at Darkness. He slams down Shane. Darton is going for the pin. I think something happened where he couldn't go for the pin or something. And a kick out there. Oh, man, he needed that. Pizza Party just needs one more fall to win. And Vince with an eye rake. What a dirty move. Darkness has had enough of Vince. Now he's got him in a sleeper hold. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's trying to put Vince to sleep. Oh man, big move there by Vince. Shane going for the pin. And the problem is, Vince is in the way here and he gets the pin, one to one. Vince got in the way, he sacrificed himself to get make sure his son got the pin. Brandon saves darkness there. Good Shane here. Brandon's got a submission in. Oh, Shane with that move. Oh, man, that move is so deadly and so dangerous. 
Look at Vince punching Brandon in the back of the head. And look at this. Oh my goodness. And Shane and Vince have pulled it off. It was the CGI ball suit that, that did it. What is the strength? They have super strength now or something. I don't know what's going on. The pizza party almost had it. They could have had it on multiple times. But either, you know, there was a breakup or a, a pin. And now Vince has even the terms here against uh, pizza party. First, uh, they attacked Vince. And now he's done some damage here with the help of Sadler and the CGI ball suit. So maybe it was, they needed more balls after all in their suit. So, that makes perfect sense now. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. I just can't believe it. And what else is going to happen? The Americans already attacked Al Assad. No, their invasion begins in a few hours. Why? The Americans are making mistakes. They will never take Al Assad alive. Oh, whatever, Nikolai. You always have something to say about the Americans. You're the one that got kidnapped. You're the one that needed saving, Nikolai. So why are you running your mouth? Why don't you uh, stick your nose in your business instead so we don't have to come save you? Okay? But anyway, I don't know what's going on there. I, it, it, it's, I guess Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare is the guest star of the episode, so. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, very shocked there, and I just got an announcement that next week, the McMahons will take on Money Heist for the number one contendership for the tag titles, so that, that will be next week, so, with that, after that win that the McMahons got tonight with the help of their suits, I don't know what's going on with those suits, but yeah, but anyway, we got um, DJ and uh, the Rat Chef versus Plum and Iron Taylor here. Uh, this is our main event because Plum is the Universal Champion. So, we, you know, anything that revolves around the Universal title, we tried to make the main event. Now, the pay-per-view will be in two more episodes. So, you got episode four and then five will be the pay-per-view. So, titles will be up for grabs and all kinds of stuff will be going down. So, it has been absolutely crazy tonight. I mean, this is one of the craziest ones. We've had, I mean, we've had uh, houses for sale. We've had uh, Tomasis Champa do a dance. You know, we, we've had uh, Nikolai showing his, uh, him getting saved and then him criticizing the Americans when he's the one that got kidnapped to begin with. So, I don't know. And then, of course, we had the whole fiasco with the McMahons now. Stronger than ever. So we'll see if Pizza Party can get them. Or maybe the Money Heist will take him out next week. Who knows what's going to happen. The referee's down, by the way. He's went to sleep. And this is our final match of the night. Two out of three falls. And, you know, the rivalry between Iron Taylor and DJ continues, but Plum is going to face off with the Rat Chef at the pay-per-view. So he will face off with him. So that's why this is the main event. And Pixar Party has already had a rough night. They lost to Money Heist earlier. Um, so we'll see... If they can redeem themselves here, or is it going to be a bad night in, in total for them? Look at the Iron Taylor here. Look at this. Oh, man. Nice move on the Rat Chef. Look here. Plum trying to hold on to DJ. 
So Iron Taylor could get that pin did not work out for him. Iron Taylor had a big victory last week, uh, last episode against uh, the authors of the North Pole. That was a pretty awesome match. Him and Santa teamed up together, of course. So he had a big win there. Of course, the Rat Chef had the biggest win. Number one contendership for the Universal Belt. So that is a big deal. And look there. Powerbomb there by the Rat Chef. And a tombstone by, uh-oh. Iron Taylor going for the pin here. And the, oh, nice pull off by Plum, but not good enough. Kick out there by DJ. Plum now going for the pin. See if Iron Taylor can hold him off. And not enough to get a pin, though. We may have CTL tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of work, but not as much as this. We're trying to get ahead of schedule. Because, and uh, kick out there by DJ. Because there's so much going on. Oh, what a drop kick. And the Rat Chef going for the pin here. The kick out there by Plum. Plum has been the universal champion for quite some time, and he may have the biggest threat yet against the Rat Chef. Because the Rat Chef has been very dominant. And Plum going for a pin here. And Iron Taylor stepped in the way to sacrifice himself, but it still wasn't enough. What a match. No falls yet. Oh, man, what a chop. It's been an interesting night overall, I have to say. Look here. Oh, man. DJ lays out Iron Taylor and Plum right on the pin. Good job there by Plum. Uh-oh. We may watch from above. Look at this. Oh, man. Nothing happened, though. I don't know how, but... Here comes a pin by the Rat Chef and the kick out again. Still no falls. So both teams really giving it their all. Last ride there from DJ Disney and uh-oh. Look at, look here. Oh, what a reversal. Rat Chef gets the point. Could they get another one here? DJ going for the pin and Iron Taylor breaks up the pin. Rat Chef is causing the most problems and maybe the most dangerous member of Pixar Party right now. With him winning constantly, he's won every single uh, match he's been in. So, and DJ going for the pin here. And Plum knocks out the ref, huh? That'll work. 
<laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> that buys them some time. Problem is, well, look at DJ here. Some combos. Referee's getting back up. He got hit hard. Plum going for the pin. Look at this. Oh, and a kick out there. And if he, if the Rat Chef could pin Plum or Plum could pin the Rat Chef tonight, that would be a big deal. Since their match is going to be in a couple weeks from now. Look here. Rack Chef. Oh man, nice kick by Plum. Breaking that submission up. All Pixar Party needs is one more point. Oh, and look at the Rat Chef. Going for the pin. Plum. What? They're calling it a pin. Oh my goodness. Plum has protested that. Oh my goodness, that was really close. Wow. And and the Rat Chef continues his dominant. That's three wins in a row. Three wins in a row. So, that is insane. He's undefeated. And yeah, things are getting crazy on here. And guys, if you weren't on this week, we'll try to get you on next week. Um, just wanted to get this out real quick. But wow. What a performance. And I'm telling Plum may have his biggest challenge yet at the pay-per-view because the Rat Chef is continuing his wrath. Or rat. Whatever you want to call it. And DJ helping him win tonight. And even though the other Pixar party failed tonight, they came out on top. So at the main event, we'll see you all later.